Now that we've created a level up area, when I receive level up, the most logical thing to do now would be to uh, add a little splash screen or a mini splash screen, just a little pop up right here that says uh, congratulations level up or something like that. So I'm gonna paint a new sprite and here we are. Um, if you want to experiment with the vector mode, you certainly can go right ahead. Um, the menu choices are over here and basically everything stays in, as an object, but I'm just gonna stick with the uh, beginner mode choices right now, um, just to keep life a little bit simpler. I'm going to draw a black rectangle. Let's zoom out so that I know what size it's gonna make it. Okay. Very good, so there's my black rectangle. And then, oh, just for fun, I'm going to add a white rectal rectangle inside of that. And I can move this around. Uh, now I could make it bigger or smaller, uh, but I'm just gonna keep it simple like that. And I'm gonna draw a green rectangle inside of that. Very good. And we'll put in some text that says level up. And we'll just move that around. Now, if you have a problem with, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, if you have a problem with the text that you have, try that again. Um, if you have a problem with the text that you have in uh, the bitmap mode, then if you convert it to a vector, um, all the things that you draw remain as separate objects. So uh, it's, I find it easier to um, fix things when there's a problem. So there's level up. Uh, the other thing that you can add, uh, if you want to add a full screen that covers everything up, you can. But uh, I think that level up will be just fine. And then we can go to the scripts for our level up. And the script should be fairly simple. So when the green flag is clicked, obviously we do not want it to appear. So we hide it. And then when we receive a broadcast that says level up, then we want to show it. Oops, show it. And we should probably make sure that it's in the right location. Uh, so if I set this to go to zero, zero, then that would be there. Hmm, no, don't really want that. I want it a little bit higher. So let's do that, throw that away. So I want to move it to that location. I want to show it. I want to wait for a period of time and then, then I want to hide it again. So really, really, really straightforward. So let's click on that, it glows, and then it hides. So maybe let's make that two seconds. Okay, so let's run our game. See if we can get to a level up. And it didn't actually broadcast the level up until I was all the way back at the glide. So now what I wanna do is I wanna sort of find a way to have that um, happen sooner. So I go to my frog, I go down to the bottom area where I broadcast a level up and I'm just gonna kind of fiddle around with these so that the broadcast actually happens right at the top and then I play the sound and then I glide and then I set the frog back to being alive again. So let's try that, see how we do. There's level up, excellent, and we're ready to keep playing. Okay, so that's just a, a little level up uh, splash screen that was really easy to make. And uh, next, we're gonna make a splash screen for when the frog dies. So if you wanna go ahead and use what you've learned here in order to make one of those, you go right ahead. Uh, if you have any difficulty with that, I'm just, to be different, I'm gonna make the um, frog died screen out of vector graphics with the other graphic tools just to be different. So if you want to go ahead and make one up the same way that this one is, you go right ahead. You'll just need to use the game over broadcast instead of the level up broadcast.